Have you ever contemplated the existence of God and the role he plays in our lives? This might seem like a simple question, but it's one that has been at the heart of human contemplation for centuries. It's a question that invites us to take a step back and consider the evidence we've encountered in our own lives. Have there been moments that seem inexplicable without a higher power? Have there been times when you felt a presence guiding you, supporting you, even in your darkest hours? These are not just idle musings but vital explorations into our beliefs and the world around us. In an era where skepticism often takes the front seat, it's more important than ever to examine these questions with an open mind, to challenge our assumptions, to engage in thoughtful discourse, and to seek understanding. So, as we embark on this journey together, let's keep our minds open and our hearts receptive. In today's discussion, we'll delve into this complex and intriguing topic. So, what evidence is there that God exists? It's a question that has sparked countless debates, and while definitive proof may be elusive, various philosophical arguments propose compelling evidence. Let's start with the cosmological argument, which concerns itself with the origins of the universe. It posits that everything we see, hear, feel, and experience had to come from somewhere. Nothing can create itself, so there must be an uncaused cause, a prime mover, that set everything into motion. This prime mover, many argue, is what we understand as God. But can we truly conceive of a being that has no cause that simply exists? This is where the concept of necessary existence comes into play. Some entities exist because something else caused them to, while others, like God, exist necessarily. They simply are, without beginning or end, without cause or effect. Then we have the moral argument. Have you ever wondered why we have a sense of right and wrong? Where did our moral compass come from? The moral argument suggests that this moral law inscribed in our hearts is evidence of a moral lawgiver. In a world without God, morality would be subjective and arbitrary. But we humans across cultures and times have a shared sense of morality, pointing to an objective moral standard and hence, to God. Of course, these arguments do not provide an incontrovertible proof of God's existence. They, however, offer a logical and rational basis for belief. They invite us to look beyond the physical, to ponder the metaphysical, to question the nature of existence itself. They encourage us to explore the possibility of a divine presence, a higher power, a creative force. As we journey through this discussion, remember these are philosophical arguments, not empirical evidence. They serve as food for thought, not as definitive answers. They remind us that questions about God and existence are as old as humanity itself, and that the search for answers is a part of our human journey. As you can see, there's a lot to contemplate when considering the evidence of God's existence. Now that we've discussed the evidence, what role does God play in our lives? Think of God as a compass, a guiding force that helps us navigate the complexities of life. This force doesn't necessarily have to be a physical entity. It could be an idea, a set of principles or a way of life. Whether it's the Christian God, Allah, Vishnu, or a broader spiritual force, the essence remains the same. It's about having something larger than ourselves to believe in, to draw strength from, and to turn to when we are lost. God, or this higher power, gives us a sense of purpose. It helps us understand that we are not just fleeting specks in the vast universe, but we are part of a grand design, a larger story. It gives our lives meaning and direction. Now let's talk about morality. Many of us derive our sense of right and wrong from our belief in God. It's not that we can't be moral without believing in God, but having a divine moral compass often provides a solid foundation for our ethical decisions. It helps us treat each other with kindness, compassion and respect, values that are integral to our humanity. And then there's faith, a powerful force that can provide comfort and guidance in difficult times. When life throws a curveball, faith can be a source of solace and hope. It reassures us that there's a higher power looking out for us, that things will get better, and that every hardship carries a lesson. Of course, the role of God varies from person to person. Some may see God as a friend, a parent, a guide, or even as a question mark. And that's perfectly okay. Because at the end of the day, it's not about fitting God into a box. It's about understanding the significance of this divine entity in our lives. It's clear that the belief in God can have a profound impact on our lives. So, let's keep this conversation going. In the next segment, we will address skepticism and doubt. But what about those who doubt or question the existence of God? This is a common question and one that's worth addressing. Doubt is a part of the human condition, 
an integral part of our journey towards understanding the world and ourselves. It's a natural part of our cognitive process and it doesn't automatically disqualify us from faith or belief. On the contrary, doubt can play an important role in the development of a deep and nuanced faith. It propels us to ask questions, to seek answers, and to strive for understanding. It creates a dynamic and active faith, one that is constantly evolving as we continue to learn and grow. There's a misconception that faith is about having all the answers, that it's a static state of unquestioning acceptance, but that's not necessarily the case. Faith is a journey, a process. It's about seeking and finding, questioning and understanding. It's about grappling with the big questions of life and existence and finding peace and purpose in the midst of uncertainty. Skepticism too can lead to a deeper understanding of God. It encourages critical thinking, the questioning of assumptions and the challenging of preconceived notions. It invites us to look beyond the surface, to delve deeper into the mysteries of existence and the divine. So if you find yourself wrestling with doubt or skepticism, don't be discouraged. It doesn't mean that you're failing in your faith or that you're any less deserving of belief. It simply means that you're human, that you're curious and thoughtful and brave enough to ask the hard questions. Remember, faith isn't about reaching a destination. It's about the journey. It's about the search for truth, the pursuit of understanding and the quest for a deeper connection with the divine. So embrace your doubts. Welcome your questions and let them guide you on your path towards a more profound and nuanced faith. So doubt and skepticism aren't necessarily obstacles to faith but can actually deepen it. So what can we take away from this discussion? We've embarked on a deep dive into the philosophical arguments for God's existence, examined the role of God in our lives, and explored the value of doubt and skepticism. Let's take a moment to reflect and bring together these threads of thought. Firstly, we journeyed through the philosophical arguments for the existence of God. We dove into the realm of the cosmological argument, which grapples with the origins of the universe, suggesting an uncaused cause, or a prime mover. We then traverse the teleological argument which points to the intricate design and order in the universe as evidence of a grand designer. And finally we waded through the moral argument, the innate sense of right and wrong that seems to pervade human societies, hinting at a moral lawgiver. Next we delved into the role of God in our lives. We pondered on how the belief in a higher power can provide comfort and guidance, especially during times of hardship and uncertainty. We explored how faith can foster a sense of purpose and meaning, inspiring us to strive for something greater than ourselves. We also reflected on how the teachings of God can instill moral and ethical values, promoting love, kindness, and compassion towards others. Then, we ventured into the realm of skepticism and doubt. We acknowledge the importance of questioning and challenging our beliefs, as it can lead to a deeper understanding and stronger conviction. We recognize that doubt is not a sign of weakness, but rather a catalyst for growth and exploration. We also discussed how skepticism can act as a safeguard against blind faith and fanaticism, encouraging a balanced and rational approach to religion. In all these discussions, we've seen that the question of God's existence is not a simple yes or no. It's a complex and nuanced topic that requires careful thought and consideration. And it's a question that each of us must answer for ourselves based on our experiences, reflections, and personal truths. So, as we conclude, I invite you to continue this exploration. Engage with these ideas, question them, wrestle with them. Don't shy away from the hard questions or the uncomfortable doubts. Embrace them, for they are the sparks that ignite the flame of understanding and wisdom. Remember, the journey to discovery is often more enlightening than the destination itself. So whether you're a believer, a skeptic, or somewhere in between, let this discussion be a stepping stone on your path to understanding the profound and compelling question of God's existence and His role in our lives. As we journey through life the question of God's existence and His role in our lives remains a profound and compelling. So keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep discovering. Please subscribe to our channel, like, comment, and share with friends and family. Look forward to other videos on thought-provoking topics and questions about life and finding the answers in the Word of God, and God bless you.